So, have you ever scratched your glasses and wondered, now what do I do? Well, oddly enough, or maybe you've noticed just a million little scratches appear out of nowhere, it seems like. So, there's actually a few different things that can cause that to happen. So, and sorry for the different format today. But, well, what you can actually get is a few different things. In this case, where, of course, you've scratched them, you've got a deep gouge in the lens, You've probably seen other videos that talk about, oh, hey, you can fix this with toothpaste or steel wool or whatever. Unfortunately, you can't. So what happens is if you try to correct the scratch, you have to remove material to get it down to where that scratch is to make it even and uniform again, right? What happens if you actually succeed in doing that is you're going to have a distortion in the lens. It's going to be fuzzy and wavy and wonky and all sorts of bad things happen. If you do actually manage to get a nice uniform cut so you don't actually change the curvature of the lens, at that point you're going to have removed any anti-reflective coating you've got, which sometimes that's the problem. We'll get back to that in a minute. But you're going to remove that anti-reflective coating, or if you don't have an anti-reflective coating, you're actually going to cut into the hard coating on the lens and remove that. So, you know, really it's not a good idea to try to remove scratches from lenses, and I've mentioned this to other people before, you know, if your prescription is bad enough, like say you're a minus six or a plus five or whatever, and you, you absolutely rely on your glasses. In that situation, you know, just as kind of a means to get by or just get through over the hump until you can get a new pair of glasses. You're one of those few where I say it's okay to try something because anything, literally anything, is better than having nothing at all. So there are some situations it's worth giving it a shot. But for the vast majority of people, that's really not going to be the case very often or something I recommend doing at all. Now on to kind of what I mentioned to start with, the different types of lenses. I can't flip the camera around after the video is going. That would have been good to know. Now, anyway, so on to what I was wanting to get at here. You can see this one, it looks kind of hazy to start with. Now this is a very old pair of mine, actually. I keep it around for when I'm doing things where I don't want to mess up my lovely glasses here that I'm going to be buried with. These are never going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this pair, you can actually see, if we get in here, maybe we can get close enough. Yeah, over that light source, there we go. So, you can see that haze. It looks like just a million little scratches throughout that lens surface. And that is actually something we call crazing or micro-cracking. And that is a failure within the anti-reflective coating itself. So this is one of those situations, they're actually chemicals designed to remove that anti-reflective coating layer. Now more often than not, that's going to actually damage the lens as well. Sometimes it won't, um, depending on the lens material of course. Glass, yeah, you can absolutely remove an anti-reflective coating without damaging the lens. That's a whole other story. But most of the time glass you're not going to have an anti-reflective coating anyways the other of course is the one we all know oops i screwed up i scratched my lens with the screwdriver when i was tightening the temple <laughs> yeah that's it happens trust me you deal with them every day it's gonna happen so if you're the optician that did that sorry but if you're at home trying to fix your own glasses and you did that also sorry but, and of course, in that case, you've got typically more of a gouge in the lens, and this pair is a pretty good example of that. This one is one of my wife's, actually, and they're kind of dirty. Sorry. I didn't realize that to start with. So, now, if I can find where it's at. Yeah, that's no fun. This uh, showed up a lot better on the camera on the reverse side. No. Okay, ignore the Ray-Ban logo. That's a whole other story, too. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, you can see a little bit there as it moves across. Kind of distorts the light a little bit, but nothing major. Nothing like if you tried to correct it. So, you know, that's kind of what it amounts to. There's, of course, what will typically cause that on an anti-reflective coating. If it didn't happen at the factory, high heat can cause that to a lot of the coatings out there because what happens, the lens material itself expands at a different rate than what the coating on the front does. 
that's actually what happened to my blue pair there and that's why I just use it as a backup for other things. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of years where that was a big problem. Nobody explained that heat situation to me. So when your optician or whoever says, don't leave the glasses in the car, on the dash, any of those sort of things, that's why the actual lens will expand slightly under high heat. The anti-reflective coating won't. And when it cools back down, it scrunches back together. So you wind up with little ridges all throughout the lens. So that's one way that crazing occurs. Another is actually in finishing if you block it down too tight. But that's a little bit different. You'll see they'll be very concentric starting at the center and going out versus little wavy lines throughout the lens. If it's wavy from edge to edge, top to bottom, that's typically the failure we see from high heat. So when you take your lenses back to your optician and say, hey, these are screwed up, they're crap, I can't see anything but starry lights at night, and we see the little trademark waves through the lens, we know what happened. I'm telling on you, we know, we can see it. But, you know, I've done it myself. It happens, trust me. It, actually, I went to a ball game once, and yeah, I had just got a brand new set of lenses for my glasses, went to a Braves game in Atlanta. It was like 120 degrees in the middle of center. I'm sitting right in the sun. By the time I headed home that night, exactly what I'm talking about. It was waves everywhere. Every light looked like a starburst effect. It was the worst thing ever. And of course, they made a new set of lenses for that. But, you know, sometimes you can't avoid those things, and it's a terrible situation. For the most part, the really good anti-reflective coatings are going to be less prone to that because they actually match the index of the hard coating to the lens material, and that reduces the chances of that happening. That's not to say it can't, but you know, then you're talking more 140, 160 degrees, or sitting in direct sunlight when it's 120 degrees outside. You know, sometimes these things are inevitable, then that's why you have warranties on these really good coatings. So. All that to say, it happens. But as far as scratches on the lenses, you know, you can see some of these videos out here. And there's one actually I was watching yesterday. You could see where he'd managed to fix the lens. For the most part, it still had a slight fog to it, but it was significantly improved. So, you know, it, for that situation, it's okay. This guy was like a minus six, minus seven, I could tell by the lens. You could see where there was some shift in the prescription around the edges of the lenses. That's okay. You know, it's not in his line of sight. He could see again. That's excellent. And of course, he still got another pair. Just use those for messing around in the yard and doing other things like that. So it works. But the main thing I want you to take away from this is just be sure before you go looking at these scratches and saying, you know, I'm going to try and fix these, odds are you're gonna end up ruining the glasses. But first and foremost, make sure it's not actually a failure in the coating itself, because most of those do have warranties that cover such things. Now, if you screwed them, and s <laughs> if you screwed them up and scratched them with a the screwdriver yourself, that's another story. You know, check with wherever you got the glasses from. They might take sympathy on you because, again, we do that sometimes too. It's inevitable. But that's all I've got today. So if you like this video, leave me some feedback. Let me know the time maybe you've scratched your glasses and what you did about it. I always like hearing those stories because they're fun to tell. So anyways, you guys take care. Like the video. Leave me some feedback. Subscribe if you're on YouTube, of course. Or find me on YouTube. It's all good stuff. Bye. Nah. At any rate, see you guys next time.